Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Bedit version 3 and hopefully giving you a review after a few days. So I just got it in today, uh, pretty simple packaging. So you can see it's a 30 inch strip that goes under your um, sheet. And this is how they're getting away by only tracking one person. Obviously if it went across the whole bed you'd get your partner's uh, actions as well. And then the cord is about 10 feet and it comes with a USB adapter. So let's get this set up and see how it looks. All right, so the instructions say to place it on the side of the bed that you sleep um, the most often, right about where your heart is going to be. And it says to place it under the sheet, but over the mattress top. So I'm going to do that now. So super easy to install, hardest part for me was finding a plug to plug it in, um, I didn't want the wires exposed, but uh, I'll download the app and we'll take a look at it from there. Alright so the app has me laying on the sensor and it's basically a test mode right here. So I'm going to get up here, you can see it goes flat and as I lay back down. It gets readjusted. So, works pretty good. Alright, so we got a few nights um, recorded with the Bedit. So we're going to open the app. And you can see the different days here. So Tuesday, um, a sleep score of 64. So that was pretty bad. Um, we can find out why. If you scroll through the details here, and you can see the chart here, it's got deep sleep at the top, light sleep at the bottom, um, sleep time 6 hours 38 minutes, uh, away from bed 3 times 8 minutes, tracks snoring, tracks the temperature and the humidity, uh, and then it also tracks your heart rate. So here's a better day, uh, Monday, sleep score of 91. Uh, 7 hours 52 minutes um, you can see a lot of deep sleep uh, away from the bed 0 minutes snoring was 3 minutes average temperature 71 average humidity 51 heart rate so uh, the app is definitely more advanced than some of the other sleep cycle apps so here we can see the trends um, this is for 30 days uh, the goal, I guess, or the average was 73.6, um, so the green shows a successful night. Uh, sleep time, how long, what the average heart rate is, uh, what the average bedroom temperature and or humidity, and then if you wanted to keep notes. Uh, overall, really detailed. Um, if you're looking for the real details this app and this you know hardware definitely gets it done um, it records you know deep sleep light sleep how efficient it was how many times you woke up how many times you uh, got out of bed if you were snoring uh, really does a good job so I highly recommend it if you're really looking to track your sleep uh, very accurately